Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Can-Am. The ride says it all. Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. And by Yamaha, conquer outdoors. It's been quite a few months in the process, but we have finally come to the end of our Can-Am Maverick Max XDS Turbo Expedition build. And now that we finally have it here on the ground, man, are we excited to show you what it's become. Many weeks ago, we showed you a quick test ride on a brand new 121 horsepower Can-Am Maverick. We were very pleased with the performance this side-by-side -side displayed and knew we had chosen the right starting vehicle for our project build. But what we didn't know is just how far this build would go and how many folks would join us in our quest to make the ultimate expedition side-by-side. -side. It took more than just a huge list of cool aftermarket parts and accessories to make this build come together. It took the people behind those parts, Terratech Off-Road with a design concept, Reed Nearing of UTV Canada with the knowledge and know-how, and the custom fabrication of G&G Racing. Tim G of G&G was indeed an integral part of our build. He allowed us to not just imagine, but bring to reality the new rear bed section of this build. Tim working closely with the Dirt Tracks crew, Terratech Off-Road, and Reed Nearing from UTV Canada were all able to collaborate on a final design that was far beyond what we have ever imagined. And thanks to the premium powder coating services of the powder station in Edmonton, we not only had a beautiful fabrication work, but a finished product that looked every bit the part. When all the fab work was completed, it was the talented team from UTV Canada that led the charge on assembly of our Expedition Maverick, mating all of the parts to the beauty of the ride you see before you. And now that we have the finished product back here at home, we're gonna give you a breakdown and a full rundown of exactly what went into this rig and who helped us to make it what it is today. Starting off with what's most noticeable is the bodywork and graphics. The RP stepped up big and swapped out all the stock plastic with black carbon body panels. DC Signs, located in Leduc, Edmonton, were on board with us every step of the way and delivered a graphics design and finished product that not only shows off the sponsoring logos, but also tells a story and says something about what this vehicle is, the Expedition. From the topographical elevation lines to custom map work, up front, DC Signs did an impressive custom wrap and even produced special overlays for our switches. These guys are good. And speaking of switches, you're gonna notice quite a few designated to lighting because when you're going where few have, you need to light your path. And light your path we shall. Thanks to Rigid Industries, we have no shortage of lights from the impressive 40 inch SR top rack light bar to the front D2 duly wide cast lights and lower center six inch SR light bar, the rear cargo lighting as well as backup lights, the trick red inner fender mounted rock lights and the interior nighttime red dome lights, we are not just kept lit up, we're blazing a trail. All the rigid lights in use are LEDs and of the highest quality in aluminum housings. When it's rigid, it's right. Out back, we were also able to secure a matching set of quick lights, illuminated whips. These not only make your rig easy to locate when riding with a group, they also look incredibly cool. And thanks to a quick coupler, are easy to remove with literally a click. It's hard to miss the Expedition due to its sheer size, and helping it keep that proud stance is a world-class set of dampers. Elka provided their best a beautiful set of 2.5 inch body stage five remote reservoir shocks with custom valving and a custom spring rate to accommodate our extra girth. These incredibly precise and almost infinitely adjustable shocks will help to settle down all the chop our 32 inch Ultracross ITPs will see. With a matching spare out back and the protection of bead locks on ITPs SD series rims, we were sure to make it out of anything the trail throws at us. We also added a 2-inch lift kit from Super ATV to help us gain the clearance for our 32s and a heavy-duty tie rod set from Dragonfire so that we can confidently push the limits. Making it out of any situation is important, but making it out in comfort and style? Well, that's a job for PRP. The PRP GT SE seats are not just incredibly good looking with their custom colors, premium material and perfect stitching. They are ridiculously comfortable, thanks to the built-in suspension design and integrated five-point harnesses. These are literally the most comfortable seats in the business. Working in harmony with the PRP seats are the Dragonfire Racing High Boy doors that not only give us security from the elements, they complete the cabin of the Maverick and offer a finished design that transforms the look of any side-by-side. -side. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto. 
a unique world of equipment, tools, and more. Protection is a big deal when you're venturing off-road, and with a rig this big and heavy, it's not only important to protect the passengers, but the vehicle itself. Ricochet Off-Road provided us with their 12-piece complete high-strength aluminum skid plate set to protect the undercarriage of our Maverick. We also went with the option of adding a quarter-inch layered UHMW underbody protection for added shock absorption and strength to ensure if we do encounter some rough conditions, we're covered. Can-Am supplied us with a set of their bolt-on rock sliders that add another level of protection to the underside of our rig, ensuring the important engine and driveline components stay safe and keep us moving forwards. And keeping the engine moving forwards is aided by Evans Coolant, who supplied us with 100% water-free engine coolant product that helps keep engine temps down no matter the situation. You'll notice that we have a nice diamond plate box out back. No, it's not for dry storage. It's for food storage. And thanks to ARB's fridge freezer unit that runs off 12 volt power and only draws 0.87 amps per hour, we're gonna keep our food cold for the long haul. You gotta eat when you're trekking into the wilderness and ARB helps us do just that. And when you camp, you must cook. So AT Overland helped by supplying a five pound propane bottle and nice aluminum holder. You'll also notice that the Expedition has a pair of Scepter five gallon gas cans held in place with RP Advanced Mobility Jerry Can holders. So if we do go farther than expected, we can be sure that we get back. When you go on a multi-day trip, communications are key. And thanks to Rugged Radio, we have the ultimate in-car communication with the RRP 686 four-person intercom system. Utilizing a car-to-car -car and in-car system, we are able to talk to each person inside the Expedition with center console mounted jacks. The main radio system is nicely fit into the steering pod while the long-range car-to-car antenna is located safely inside the rear cargo bed out of harm's way. And when you're not listening to your buddies chatting, you can roll down the trail, busting out your beats via Bluetooth connection to the SSV Works Audio Slick Weatherproof Overhead Soundbar and kick up the bass with the underdash sub box with amplified 10 inch woofer. We have to give a big shout out to STM Clutches for supplying us with their Rage 6 billet aluminum clutch kit that spins our massive 32s by grabbing the belt better, giving a more aggressive upshift and a solid backshift. And with all that power, we may encounter some situations where our eyes are bigger than our common sense. And in those situations, our Terra 45 SR 4500 pound super winch with synthetic rope and remote control will come in handy. And if we do end up in a real jam needing to work on the Expedition, our front mounted high lift jack along with the power tank CO2 air system will allow us to not only fix, but fix in style. And speaking of style, the S3 Max low profile cage system along with the S3 front bumper not only turns heads, but its drawn over mandrel tubing also provides the protection that we need when the terrain turns nasty. The upper roof rack by G&G also adds to the design and functionality, and with securement tie-down track cleats from Supertrack, we can be sure our cargo will stay put. Limb risers span from the roof rack down to the front bumper and help us get through the thickest brush. Assault Industries supplied us with helmet locks in case we do step away from the rig, and along with their roll bar mounted fire extinguisher ensure that we are safe. Assault Industries sun visors cut the glare when we're looking forward, and Dragon Fire mirrors give us a clear view looking back. Easy turn signals supplied a column mounted signal pod that actuates the rigid LED turn signals and hazard lights. When you're looking to go on a multi-day expedition and possibly wander far from the normal routes, there's wisdom in having a good map, just in case. Inside the driving cabin, you'll notice the best map possible, a sweet Lawrence Elite 5 GPS navigation system that's housed in a very tidy and clean UTV ink dash plate. The Lawrence GPS will help us to stay the course while also helping us get back on track should we wander off the beaten path. And there you have it, our version of what we think is the ultimate expedition side-by-side. -side. And what better way to test this expedition vehicle than to take it on, well, an expedition. So make sure you tune in next week where I'm gonna meet up with Mike Bennett from Terratech and we will take this beast out and truly put it to a test on an overnight expedition. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Eastern Ontario Trails Alliance. Your backyard just got bigger. When you say the words side by side, most people get a mental picture of your typical dirt and mud covered trail. But this ideal scenario isn't the case for many North American side by side owners. In fact, a large percentage of side by side owners live in regions that are covered in snow three to five months of the year. And it's in these areas the Polaris Ranger North Star Edition really shows its four season potential. 
The North Star is a special edition package that comes with a complete Polaris ProFit cab pre-installed from the factory, but that's just half the story. Once you're in that almost automotive quality cab with gasket sealed doors and full glass windshield with windshield wiper and washer fluid sprayer, you'll find a few extra switches on the dash that control the completely integrated heater with foot, dash and windshield defrost vents and two more switches that control the driver and passenger's heated seats. Yeah, heated seats. In Texas, mm -mm, not necessary. But in Ontario, Canada, when you're plowing snow at minus 30 degrees Celsius, now it makes sense. Ordering this North Star Ranger was entirely selfish. I wanted it for plowing my driveway. And while this winter wasn't the whitest in our area, I did get more than enough time in the cab of the North Star to confidently say there are few vehicles capable of plowing snow like this one. We installed both a Polaris Pro HD 6,000 pound winch with magnetic auto stop technology and a 72 inch Glacier Pro plow with a poly blade. These two items immediately turned our Ranger into a winter weapon. The plow mounting kit is super low profile, so it can be left on all year without getting damaged. And when it's time to move snow, installing the plow is as easy as driving up to the frame and locking it on. It literally takes less than a minute. The blade itself is completely adjustable, all without tools, and because it's plastic, it won't rust and start to look like crap the way a metal blade will. But of course, the most important question is, will it push snow? And the answer is very simple. Heck yeah, that 72 inch blade motivated by the North Star's easy starting and 100% reliable 66 horsepower 900cc twin can push feet of snow without flinching. And the new Deluxe Edition shifter makes the constant forward and reverse shifting associated with plowing snow no sweat. On the other hand, you may end up sweating like crazy with the cab and seat heaters cranked all the way up. I swear, at minus 30 degrees Celsius, you could plow snow in this thing completely naked. Could, not should. So, why pick a North Star Ranger for your wintertime recreation and utility needs over some other type of vehicle? Simple, versatility. The Ranger is awesome in the winter, but remove the doors and other cab components and it's ready to both ride and work all summer long as well. It's smaller than even a Jeep, which makes it easier to plow snow in the winter because it's more maneuverable and will fit into tighter places. Plus, it's ready to accept a full set of tracks if you want to use it to get to your ice fish hut or haul some firewood out of the bush. In the north, many of us have the need for a utility vehicle that's as capable in the winter as it is in the summer. In the minds of all of us at Dirt Tracks, no vehicle better answers this need than the Polaris Ranger North Star Edition. Winches and off-roading, well, they pretty much go hand in hand. And while you may have been tempted to go to your dealership and drop five or 600 bucks on a new winch and winch bracket from a name brand, there are some smaller, lesser known brands that offer you great performance at a much cheaper price. Princess Auto supplies a wide variety of winches from small 120 volt plug-in portable units to monstrous Jeep and truck applications. And right at the bottom of the price list and weight range sits a very basic but fully functioning little unit. The 12 volt, 2000 pound Keeper Maximus ATV winch is a pretty basic product. It doesn't come with a wireless remote, it doesn't come with a roller fair lead, but what it does pack is a lot of punch for the price. 50 bucks. No, that's not what it costs for part of this winch, it's what it costs for the whole thing. Sporting a 2000 pound capacity with all metal planetary gear train and a line speed of 24 feet per minute, you're sure to get out of any fun you find yourself stuck in. And thanks to a pair of five foot all copper battery leads, your install is not only easy, it's durable. The Keeper Maximus KM2000 2000 pound ATV winch is simple, but one thing I've learned in life is keeping it simple is always a good thing. A one horsepower permanent magnet motor drawing a maximum of 95 amps pulls the 153 to one ratio gear train and winds the 50 feet of five 30 seconds aircraft grade galvanized wire rope. An easy to use T-handle free spool works flawlessly, while the handheld wire remote can easily be mounted just about anywhere. When you're looking to outfit your ATV or side-by-side -side with cool off-road accessories, make Princess Auto your first stop and find out how simple, easy, and cost-effective pieces like the Keeper KM2000 2000 pound ATV winch can be. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Algoma, that real. 
closed captioning of Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Triton Trailer, built for adventure. I keep preaching this point over and over, and I sincerely hope it's starting to take root in the very core of ATV buyers. When you start your search to buy a new ATV, the number one thing you have to consider is this. What am I going to do with this ATV? There are vehicles out there that appeal to your more practical side, and many that will stroke your ego, and even some meant simply to get the job done. But none of them will truly fit you unless they are designed to do what you will be doing with them. So, if after an honest conversation with yourself, you've come to the conclusion that the thing you love to do most with your ATV is ride around in the mud, we think you should definitely check out Can-Am's new Outlander L XMR. Why you ask? Well, the easy answer is because it's more awesome and well equipped than its price tag would suggest. The more in-depth answer is because as a mud bike, it can and will do everything you need it to and more, including leaving some cash in the bank for inevitable upgrades. The L-Series is Can-Am's entry-level line of ATVs. They're designed to attract buyers on price first and then seal the deal with features like a full-on SST G2 frame and Viscolock front diff. Basically, you get more than you paid for. It's a trend in the industry right now that's growing by the day, and Can-Am has wasted no time covering all the bases with a full line of L models, including an XMR. The L XMR is powered by Can-Am's new 48 horsepower 570cc V-twin, and the truth is, this is a stellar motor for a bike like this. 48 horsepower is just enough to get you into, and more importantly, out of, nearly any sticky situation. And it's that V-twin torque that you really need to get these 28-inch Maxxis Mudzillas to spin. All the tire in the world is useless if you can't get it to turn. And the 570 found in the XMR gets these things rolling without any trouble. The XMR lineage is pretty impressive. Can-Am revolutionized the category when they introduced the first XMR model that was built on a Max chassis and came standard with the rad relocated to the front rack, full intake and CVT snorkels, air suspension, gorilla axles, and of course, ridiculous tires, perfect for getting it in deep. The L XMR, while most certainly a premium model, is still an L, so it's meant to be entry level and affordable while still carrying on the legacy of the XMR name. With this in mind, the use of a standard length chassis and basic shock package is understandable. After all, you still get a super trick front bush bar that doubles as the top mounted rad support, fully integrated snorkels for both the engine intake and both sides of the CVT, Can-Am's coveted DPS system, Visco-Lock QE front diff, raised foot pegs, and obviously the tires and wheels. All this for about 8,500 bucks full retail. That's impressive. But we have found one thing to complain about and one thing we think needs to be clarified when it comes to this XMR. We think the LXMR is missing one of the most important features that needs to be included on any mud-specific vehicle, a winch. Sure, it is a budget ride, meant to get people into the mud without breaking the bank while still remaining fully capable of not just recreational mud running, but also competing in some stock class events. But a winch? That's something any mud bogger is both gonna need and want. Running mud without a winch is like trying to eat oatmeal without a spoon. It's messy, frustrating, and annoying. Put a winch on it, and we'd have nothing to complain about. Now comes the part where I appeal to the rational part of your brain, where I attempt to win you over with statements that make sense in hopes that you'll take my advice with a grain of salt. Let's start with this beauty. A mud bike is a mud bike. How's that for deep and meaningful? But what I mean is that this is not, and is not meant to be, a trail bike. It's not meant to be an ultra-smooth riding, stellar handling, fire road blasting, rock crawling, do-all ATV for the masses. In fact, it's pretty terrible at most of those things.
which brings me back to my original point. You need to look deep inside yourself and honestly decide if you're a true mud runner or somebody who just occasionally likes to get dirty. If, during a moment of zen-like self-realization, you accept that maybe, just maybe, you're the former, you should probably consider passing the XMR by in favor of another 570L model with an upgraded set of tires. But if you're the latter, we think the LXMR is without question the best way you can get into serious mud destruction without having to sell your kidneys or trade in your firstborn child. Dirt Tracks Television has been sponsored by Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. Can-Am, the ride says it all. And by Arctic Cat, share our passion. If you like this video, click the link and subscribe to Dirt Tracks' YouTube page where we're updating all kinds of fresh stuff like you've just seen.